Good afternoon, everyone. Country Flyboy here, and we're back here with ADE. This time, not in ADE. We're actually in Flight Simulator, and we are we are going to look at the scenery as sort of the next to last compile version. Hopefully, I've moved the scenery over to my main computer, so my my actual rig that I do most of my stuff on. So everything should look nicer. We got Rex textures and whatnot. I'm going to put us in external view. Actually, let's go over to cockpit view and get rid of this. Go into slew mode by pushing Y, F3 just to zoom up a bit, F7 to lower the view, and we can get a look around at our airport. So here we have our FBO, arrival sign facing this side. There's the cargo we placed, a couple trucks, there's the beacon tower, here's our hangars, and you can see how the um, GP objects look really nice. These T's are really big, and that one's really close to the hangar. So we could fix that if we wanted, but I'll leave it as is. Why not? Got AI traffic parked here, too. So AI traffic is working. That's nice to know. Here's our hangers. T hanger over here. That looks good. So let's start over here at the closed runway, because that's what I want to look at. All right, EC now. Get the closed runway showing up. All of our X's are here. They look really nice too, don't they? There's our roads. Now here, let's take a look at our road system. You can see that uh, the roads we place line up almost exactly with the uh, the roads by uh, Ultimate Terrain X. So it's good to know that we are matching up pretty accurately. There's the uh, lakes and stuff we placed over there. Now, this computer has Ultimate Terrain X on it, so there'll be a few... Land class is going to be different. Uh, as you can see, there's a lake that's not supposed to be there. All that fun stuff. Now, I see a problem here. Looks like we may have left the single end box on this runway checked, so we'll have to correct that. Uh, lights are not lining up 100% with our Pappy objects. Uh, that's actually a small one. We could fix that just simply by moving them over about, probably about a foot and a half to two feet. Glide slope antenna showing up. Over our taxiway. Uh, we would want to put some indication here that this is a closed taxiway. Um... Uh, but uh, there wasn't any indication on the GP or the uh, the satellite image, so I'll just leave that as is. But normally you'd want to put something there like an X or a sign or a double solid uh, straight line there to indicate this is a taxiway that you can't taxi on because it's closed down. Now over here, wasn't it over here? Somewhere over here that I actually broke the link. And I'm just going to look for it. It's somewhere along this stretch here is where I broke the link so that it wouldn't, so AI wouldn't use it. And I'm not seeing that break, any abnormalities, so that means we, we must have broke it pretty good. Bit of an issue there. It looks like we could move the, um, the line over on the runway link a little bit. There's our buildings for the uh, strip mall, right on the final approach course for 1-4. But uh, looks like you'd be well above that without any issues. Yeah, everything looks good to me. I, I would say this is as finished as it could be. We'll just note uh, the few things we need to correct, like fix that runway, fix that node over there, or not that node, that that link over there because it's off just a little bit and yeah everything looks good to go looks like we're missing a whole short line here have to look into that there should be a whole short line there but we're missing one all right let's switch this over to night view see how it looks at night Alright, we've switched it over to night view so we can get an idea of what it looks like at night. 
Now, because I run with DirectX 10 on on this computer, the windows of the FBO there are grayed out. They don't work. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. There's our beacon light shining around. Looks like we got King Air, Learjet, Caravan, and the Cessna 310 part of the FBO. All of the lights look to be showing up pretty much correctly. Yep, they look really good too. Wow, the default lights actually worked out pretty well. I'm impressed. No lights on this runway. No lights on the closed runway. That's how it should be. Everything looks good to me. Was there any approach lighting system on this runway? Let's have to double check that because it looks like there might be. It looked like there might have been on the satellite image. That's why this road would be here. So I have to double check and make sure, see if there is actually approach lighting for this runway. We can look, we can determine that by looking at either the AFD or the approach chart for this runway itself. Everything looks good. All right. Well, uh, now that we've seen the uh, changes we need to make, we'll go make those on ADE, and yeah, I we can we'll we're done as far as I can tell. So that was the preview of the airport. Uh, I am going to be uploading this scenery uh, to Simviation and FlightSim.com so you can download it as well as my Dropbox. Uh, so there'll be a direct link in the video description of the last video in this series so you can download it. Uh, the scenery will include some extra features since this was done as a tutorial. So hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to the scenery. We'll see you next time.